Here you are just multiplying the numbers together. We can think of half of 6 is 3, but it's half of negative 6, so it should be negative 3. Half of 3 is 1 and a half. Complete the remaining four problems for the warm-up. Draw and label the image of JK under a dilation with center O and scale factor 2. So we're going to dilate from O through these points. And we are using a scale factor of 2. So here I see J is on this line here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 away from O. So if I double that or multiply it by 2, that would be 14. So here's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're going to place J prime here. Now, K is not on the corner of a point. So let's see, it's approximately here, which would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We can approximate it as 8 and a half. So if we multiply that times 2, that would give us 17. And then we'd have 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So K prime should be around here, and we can connect those. Now I'm pretty confident that J prime is in the correct location because it was in a corner of these lines on the grid. But since K was not in the corner, I'm not as confident with K prime. I used an approximation, but it could be closer to 8.6 or 8.7. We don't know an exact answer here. So we're more confident in answering for J prime than we are for K prime. We could use a different strategy. Instead of the parallel lines, we could use our compass, and that would help. But the method for dilations on the grid is not as accurate if our points are not on a specific coordinate. Here it says consider points O and B on the coordinate plane, choose a scale factor card, then plot, the, plot and label the image of point B under a dilation with center O and scale factor R from the card. So each person in your team or in your table group is going to get a different scale factor to dilate point B with. I selected the scale factor two-thirds. So again, I'm drawing my line through here. Here I see that it is 6 away from O vertically. So 6 times my scale factor, which was 2 thirds. Well, 6 times 2 is 12. And there's an invisible 1 down here. 1 times 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so I'm going to go 4 in the vertical direction and line it up with the line and label it B prime. So it says check one another's images, then complete the table for the group's four images. So the coordinates of B if we go back, the coordinates of point B were 3, 6, and the scale factor I had was 2 thirds, and after I dilated, it was 2, 4. The coordinates of B didn't change for any of my partner. They were all the same. Everybody had B in the same location. 
some of the other scale factors you could have had were a scale factor of two, a scale factor of one third, or a scale factor of three. If your scale factor was two, their coordinates ended up at 612. If you had a scale factor of one third, they would have ended up with the coordinates one, two. And if you had the scale factor of three, you would end up at nine, 18. Look for a pattern within each row of the table. What do you notice about the relationship between the scale factor and the coordinates of B and B prime? In each of these, uh, the coordinates of B prime are equal to the coordinates of B multiplied by the scale factor. For example, 3 times 3 is 9, and 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 2 is 12. A third of 3 is 1, and a third of 6 is 2. So, one thing to make note of is the location of that point of dilation. Notice the dilation is on the origin. It says, you use the patterns you found in problem two to complete the table for dilation centered at the origin. So there's that key statement there. It's dilated from the origin. The first row is completed for you. So you have three times two is six, 10 times two is 20. So this one, it would be five times one and five times three. Well, five times one is five, and five times three is 15. This one would be a third times 15, and a third times nine. A third of 15 is five, a third of nine is three. One fourth of eight, and one fourth of 16. A fourth of eight is two, a fourth of 16 is four. This pattern remains true even when we don't have a number to represent these. This would be rx and r times y. It says, what are the coordinates of the image of a point xy under a dilation centered at the origin with a scale factor of r? It's that scale factor multiplied by those coordinates. For problems five and six, plot the image of point K under a dilation, again, centered at the origin with a scale factor of two. Use the grid strategy from lesson seven to plot and label the actual location of K prime. Use the rule to calculate the coordinates of K prime and compare the actual location to the calculated location of points K prime. Does the rule work? So we're gonna start with the strategy from lesson seven. This is four from zero, and four times two is eight from zero, so it's gonna line up here. If we did the vertical distance, it would be three from zero, and three times two is six, so it'd be here at the point negative eight, negative six. If we took the coordinates of K, which are negative four and negative three, and we multiply them by our scale factor, 
we also get negative 8, negative 6. So does the rule work? Yes. Now let's apply the same strategies to number 6. This is 0 in the uh, horizontal direction, and 0 times 2 is 0, but it's 4 in the vertical direction, and 4 times 2 is 8. So it should be at the point negative 8, 0. No, got those backwards. 0, negative 8. And then if we were to use the rule, I have this point at 0, negative 4. And if I multiply both of those by the scale factor, that would give me 0 and negative 8. So it works for that one as well. For problems 7 and 8, find the coordinates of the image of each vertex under a dilation centered at the origin with the given scale factor r. Then graph and label the image on the figure. So q is located at negative 6, 2. If I multiply by 2 and a half, 2 and a half times 6 would be, well, 2 times 6 would be 12, and half of 6 is 3, so that'd be up 15, but it's negative. 2 times 2 is 4. Half of 2 is 1. 4 and 1 together make a 5. So we're going to put Q at negative 15, positive 5. Don't forget to label it. R is at the point negative 2, negative 4. So that'd be negative 5. 4 times 2 is 8, half of 4 is 2, so that would be 10, negative 5, negative 10 is r prime, and then s we had was negative 4, negative 6, so that turns into negative 10, negative 15, And that is S prime. And then we can connect them. And if we show the answer here, we can see that we have those in the correct location. Same kind of concept for 8. E is at this point negative 9, 0. A third of negative 9 would be negative 3. So there's E prime. D is at the point negative 3, 6. A third of negative 3 would be negative 1. A third of 6 is 2. H is at 6, 6, so the third of 6 is 2. G is at 6, negative 6, so that would be 2, negative 2. And F is at negative 3, negative 6. A third of negative 3 is negative 1. A third of negative 6 is negative 2. And that is F prime. Should look like that. For problems 9 and 10, find a scale factor of the dilation centered at the origin. Well, d prime 
is at 4, negative 2, and D is at 10, negative 5. So our piece says that the original times the scale factor equals the new version. Well, in this case, our new version is 4, negative 2. Our original was 10, negative 5. And if we were solving this like it was an equation, we would divide both sides by the original to figure out what the scale factor was. Now, this is kind of just a shorthand version of it. This isn't the Technically, this isn't the way we would do algebra with coordinate points, but this is just a, a representation of it. So the x-coordinates, we would have 4 over 10, and the y-coordinates would be negative 2 over negative 5. Well, 4 tenths can be reduced to 2 fifths, and negative 2 over negative 5, and negative divided by a negative becomes a positive. So our scale factor is 2 fifths. Here I see the point C has coordinates negative 2, 4, and C prime has coordinates negative 6, 12. So the new divided by the original gives us that scale factor. So the new x coordinate is negative 6, and the original x coordinate was negative 2. The new y-coordinate was 12, the original x-coordinate was 4. Well, negative 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3, and 12 divided by 4 is 3. So in this one, our scale factor is equal to 3. And you can verify that using other coordinates from the picture. Please make sure your workbook is filled in for this lesson and your warm-ups are complete.